John, obviously, good win for you. Probably yeah. your best of the year. Yeah. Easily. Uh, what, would, what were your thoughts on what um, went right out there? <laughs> yeah, you know, not much separates us when we play each other. And uh, today was no different, especially in that first set. I'm really proud of how I, uh, how I sort of sort of hung in there. Um, I was down uh, two mini breaks in that tiebreaker. I had a set point at 5-4. Um, I was in the point, I played a great return, and I just you know, missed a forehand. Um, you know, it's been a while. I mean, those are the matches I'm, I'm accustomed to winning, matches like that, and I haven't really done that this year so far. So winning one like that, it's, it's, it's pretty big for my confidence. Um, Serve came up huge when I needed it in the first set tiebreaker. It won 146 right on the line, and um, I just gutted it out, and I played a good second set, so I'm happy with that. You know, when you came in, you were talking a little about your disappointment with what happened at Davis Cup. You know, these two matches are great and great performance. Do you feel like you're kind of exercising those teams? Mm, not, not really, to be honest. I mean, Davis Cup's a completely, completely different animal. Um, I've done a pretty good job putting that behind me, but it's still extremely disappointing. Uh, you know, it's I'm I'm out here. I'm playing for myself now. You know, and I'm not I'm not necessarily wearing the the stars and stripes all, stars and stripes on my shirt playing against another country right now. But uh, you know, these wins are great. But the Davis Cup still stings a lot. Get Djokovic potentially next. Mm -hmm. It's been probably the best of the big four matchups for you in here. Yeah. Year, so tough son. You beat him here before. So. Yeah, I mean, well, if he wins, this is the third time I've I would have played him at this tournament, and both both three sets, uh, I've won one. He he won last year. Um, I can't ask for for better conditions uh, to go up against someone like that. This these conditions suit me uh, very well. That being said, he's every condition suit him well. He's he does everything the, the best. That's why he's number one in the world. So. There's no surface. He's he's a slouch on, but uh, I think I think a court like this and maybe hopefully a crowd on my side can uh, can certainly help me a lot. I it seemed to seem to run into him a lot in, in Master Series events, and uh, I would like to play him again. Um, you know, I anticipate he's going to win, but you never know. We'll I'm looking at some incredible stats here. You lost a total of seven points on serve. Uh, today, yeah, yeah. I mean, I only lost five in my first match, so I'm um, serving serving pretty well. Uh, you get, as I said, these conditions are very very good for everything. The, my serve, my kick serve gets up, even gets up on a guy like Kevin. So, so you get a break, you get up a break, and it's like, yeah, it certainly takes a lot of, a lot of pressure off, and that's why I was proud of how I how I got the break in the first in the second set. I. I won that point. I hit a clean winner. You know, I didn't. Uh, my opponent didn't, didn't miss a shot. So, very proud of that. Um, I haven't played too many points with with that with that conviction so so far this year. So I, f I feel like I'm turning the corner a bit. How often did you play him in college? A lot. Yeah. I and mean, he's the guy I've played the most in the pros too. So. Really. That's, that was our 11th meeting in the pros. I've never played. Any, I haven't played anyone 11 times. So. Um, Seem to run into him a lot. We, it's always it's always so close. I just uh, you know that first set went my way, fortunately, and then I was able to, to ride it out. But you just know you're going to step out there, and it's just going to be one bomb against the other bomb. He's going to yeah. Out. Oh, I know. I mean, we've played matches that have gone three tiebreakers twice. Um, we haven't played too many matches where there hasn't been a tiebreaker. So uh, it's just all about who who can win those big points or who, who plays better in, in those big points. And I was able to do that today. You know, next time I play him, it could, it could definitely be different. But, but, but today, uh, today went my way. John, there's a, kind of an idea of, like, you know, the players, when you return to a tournament that you've played so well at, mm -hmm. uh, it all kind of comes back, that there's yeah. confidence factor and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Is that overblown? Is that an actual thing? Oh, uh, no, it is. It, it's an actual thing. I mean, conditions and just, just uh, overall comfort level at a tournament, um, enjoying the town, things like that. Uh, you know, I've, this tournament couldn't have started any better for me so far. I mean, I played a great first match. Having, I guess, lost, what, like four matches in a row coming into this tournament, so really not, not, not too high on confidence. And, uh, but, you know, when I get out there and play, I, the ball is sitting up in my strike zone. You know, it's not not a situation where the, where the ball's staying lower and I'm, and I'm not able to, to hit down on the ball. Um, it gives me a lot of 
a lot of time to go for my shots, and it's you know up 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 on my shoulders, which which I like. Why, why do you think this start to the year was slow for you? Something uh, off season that wasn't no no for what just just what? it was. I mean, I probably worked harder this off season than I have in in, in any other off season. Uh, just one of those things that you can work as hard as you can, but it's not doesn't doesn't mean anything. It doesn't guarantee you uh, success. And um, I've had slow starts in prior years too, and I've been able able, able to uh, sort of overcome them and, and, and have a good year. Um, but same time, it really I haven't played too many too many tournaments. It's just my fourth ATP tournament, and um, I got a lot more tournaments on on my schedule going forward. You know, this is the first Masters event. You know, I got seven, potentially eight, eight more ahead of me, and three Grand Slams. And there's a lot, a lot of tournaments ahead. Um, you know, these are the tournaments I, I need to play well at. Looking a little further ahead, do you have big clay goals this year? Um, you talked about as you like the service a lot. You haven't done that great, I guess, yeah. in like a Madrid or Rome. And yeah, I have it. I've I've played Madrid's a very good tournament for me. The the conditions and I've. I run into some Spaniards there in the round of 16, I think, which is which which is a very tough ask. Rome, um, I, I could do without that tournament. I've <laughs> I, I've been out of singles and doubles there on Monday last two years, which is pretty pathetic. Um, but no, no, I, I can I can play well on clay. I'm I right now I'm I'm planning on playing Monte Carlo as well. Uh, I want to I want to go after it. Um, there's some huge tournaments ahead of me, and, and I'm gonna. Play more on the grass, you know. There's there's two 500s now on on grass uh, prior prior to Wimbledon, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play that play that week, and um, you know, there's a lot of I I, can, I feel like I can play well on 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 a lot of services, and, and Clay's one of them. On tennis channel, sorry, on tennis channel, Justin was saying this morning that you guys had that long ride from LAX out mm -hmm. here, kind of talk about everything. And yeah. Like, that conversation is it mostly a mental thing? Is it like a check-in? Yeah. Tactical? What? What's? No, it's, it wasn't so tactical. Um, if anything, we focus less on 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 the on the tactical side of things. It's more it's more in between my ears, and um, it was nice of him to pick me up in LAX at 3 p.m. on a Monday and and drive over here. Uh, yeah, it was exactly 3 p.m. Um, I mean, I flew in from London. I was certainly a little tired or jet lagged or whatnot, but it was a great conversation. And um, and look, I've I've never wavered with 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 any any of the work that I, that I've done with Justin. He's he's been all in on on his part, and I feel like I've been I've been all all in on my part. And I just haven't allowed myself to to um, you know I've been a bit of a mental, mental midget in, in in some in some instances this year uh, in, in in tournaments, but um, I'm. I'm I'm trying to get better at that, and uh, Justin, he's he's been by my side, and he's worked extremely hard. So, it's gonna it's gonna pay dividends for sure.